if you choose the header template, if you're, you know, that basically covers the top of the, your design and the left side, and the footer template would cover the, the right side and the bottom. So if you, if you don't know exactly which template that it is that you're wanting to actually choose, then, um, you know, that, that's how you can gauge it. So top and left would be the header and the, the right and the bottom would be the footer. But this gives you the ability to come in here and, you know, make little modifications if you want to. If you have a designer that comes in here and, um, and change some of the code around if they wanted to add some extra additional things that, up in the header, then they, they, this gives them the functionality to be able to do that. Also, uh, I want you to uh, throw it over here. Also, shows all the CSS that is pertaining to this particular template set. Um, so, whenever, you, like, if if you want to choose one of these, then you could, you know, you have some issues with, for this instance, the Internet Explorer six, then you would choose that, and you can would it, it will display whenever it gets through loading to display the, um, you know, the CSS associated with, associated with Internet Explorer six, as you can tell here. Okay, next. Um, we're going to do, we get the custom buttons. What we've done, we have several different button families where you can choose from. It's kind of like the templates from the very first one. You just basically scroll down, you see one you like, you and click the install activate, and that becomes the button set that you would be, that uh, will replace all the buttons in your cart as well. Okay, now we got the title menu bar. What this does is it, it's, it's for this section right here, the top navigation, uh, you know, like home page. Uh, new products, etc. You can have these each of these links either open up in a new window if you want. You would have to select this. Otherwise, it would just use the same window that it's in and just reload the page according to wherever it is that you want here. You also can add more uh, more rows, which would basically give you the ability to add more links across the top here. But uh, keep in mind that you know you may have to make some CSS changes and things like that to accommodate the additional data that's being tried to displayed up there. Um, now we've got uh, Google Analytics. A lot of people ask about this as far as you know visitor counts and tracking and things like that. This is where you would put the section in for this. Uh, this right here would be just the general tracking code. This right here would be as if you had an AdWords account and you had the conversion code with, associated with that, you would put that here. And in your Google Analytics account, they have the e-commerce tracking code, and this is where you would put it into this section. Okay, the test environment. Uh, some of you, you know, want to see what some certain changes are. Like if you wanted to put something up in your header, or your footer, or your footer templates down here, and you know, you didn't want to necessarily make them live. You just wanted to basically just see what they would look like doing some things like that. So you could come here. You can actually choose this right here, and make any changes that you want into the the header template, and then you click the test view environment, or view test environment. I'm sorry, and then go in, and it'll basically open up the uh, another window and show you what your site would look like. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind with doing this, what it does is basically, uh, you know, it does uh, sit a, a cookie in there and, and make you view it. So you, in order to get out of the, the test environment, you would have to, you know, close your browser, reopen it back up because it will keep you in the test environment while you're doing that. Okay. Also, uh, now there's some of this right here does give you the basic functionality. There are some other things that you know you can actually go up and you know connect FTP. If you have an FTP client, you can connect in there, there as well and actually modify all of this right here. And uh, this would be the information you would enter into your client to actually go in there. And you could you still have access to all these templates as well if you prefer to do them through there versus going through this uh, editor that we have in the thing. Okay, uh, I think that's uh, pretty much uh, giving you like the overview of um, any of the design section. If you have any questions, you know what, this is going to be our question and answering segment, so please uh, feel free to type in the questions, and I will answer as many as I possibly can. Okay, let me see here. Okay, Michelle is asking, can we change the color of the website to something that is not in the options? You know, the, she said we need a dark espresso color, and that's not an option, and the color is given. Yes, uh, basically what you would do for this, uh, Michelle, would be to, uh, uh, like, a, like this, for example, uh, you know, if, 
you have you're saying uh, I'm assuming this is what you're asking is you're wanting this co you don't these colors here doesn't necessarily have the exact color that you're needing well all you would need to do basically is this number and uh, this hexadecimal value right here is if you can find the hexadecimal value of that you can just change this to anything that you want and it would you know it basically would give you some colors basically what we normally do is just you know you can go to Google look at the HTML color codes and you know and find what color it is and most like photo editing software will give you that value and you can take that number and put it in there and it'll change it to that color so you don't have to use what's preset in that you know choose one of those and what's in the swatches if you know the hexadecimal value okay she also was asking can we have widgets that do not appear on every page but different widgets for each category um, not the only functionality we have right now the, with the given the ability for the widgets to be displayed differently well, is for the product detail uh, right now at this time um, you know it is if, if it's something that you would you know that you do need you know you can always contact your sales department and they can you know work up some kind of a, a quote on getting something like that added to the software functionality okay and has another question uh, we all have a temporary splash page up while we're finalizing our website the page is not constantly displaying on smartphones instead of the splash page I am seeing some previous work we did on the template page how can I make this splash page show up on a smartphone uh, well now if it's show if it's showing up temporarily uh, or sometimes and sometimes it doesn't then it's probably some kind of a uh, cookie being set with the smartphone and you may have to close out the browser or something like that on the smartphone and restart the session so that that's most likely what the case is now if you're if it's something specific and you're unable to uh, know exactly what's causing it or it's still happening and you don't know how to fix it just uh, contact the, the support tech uh, over it uh, in the support department they'll get they'll get with you okay okay uh, Heather uh, is Shelby's asking how to show how the drag and drop environment works. Basically, it, it, whenever you go to this this link here, which is drag and drop design mode, when you click that, it's, you're taken to the storefront, and on all the sections, different sections of the, uh, the your web pages, there'll be little pencils and little X's, and uh, when you hover your mouse over, you can click it and drag it and drop the different widgets in different places on the. Um, on your template and it'll and then when you click the save button that shows up it'll actually save the the changes that you've made you can also edit link uh, like words how things are spelled and things like that as well uh, Sandy is asking how to remove the powered by core commerce in the footer um, uh, uh, basically the only way you could really do this would be if if you submit a ticket into your uh, support section uh, the support text there can actually go in there and remove that for you so it'd be just something as simple as submitting a ticket and we'll get that taken care of we can get that removed for you are there any other questions okay well I hope that uh, you know this uh, was you know will help to help all of y'all out and uh, maybe give you some insight as to how this section works good uh, we're going to have this recorded and uh, put up on the website if you need it for you know future reference. And I really appreciate y'all's uh, patience, and uh, I look forward to talking to y'all again soon. Thank you.